Hi, this is Mark from the North Shore Commercial Door.com. Today we're going to have a little tech talk, and our tech talk today is going to be about circuit boards, specifically circuit boards for the Chamberlain Liftmaster family of garage door openers. First of all, let's have an understanding of what I mean when I say Chamberlain Liftmaster. Chamberlain Group is a manufacturer that builds operators under the brand name of Chamberlain, Liftmasters, Sears Craftsman, Raynor, and a whole host of other private label brands. So the same circuit board that powers up a Chamberlain will also do a Liftmaster and a Sears and a Raynor and etc. etc. So I guess the first thing we want to talk about is what does the Liftmaster board do? And uh, simply stated, it's a it's a control board. It's a computer, uh, mini computer, and it controls four different functions. It controls the open, close, and stop function of the motor. It controls the light bulb that turns on and off. It controls the safety eyes that are mounted at the bottom of the door. It controls the push button that's on the wall inside of your garage and it also controls the radios that uh, will allow you to open and close the door remotely. You lose your radio controls as an example. You can't buy just the radio control portion of the board. You're going to have to replace the whole board. But the other functions still could work. You could lose the function of the electric eyes and yet the light bulbs still work or the safety eyes. So. Um, it's not always a catastrophic failure where everything quits, but uh, we see them both ways. People ask what causes a control board to fail, and there's not a definitive answer for that, but I can tell you this, that the circuit boards do not like power surges. And the number one cause for a power surge is an electrical storm. So if you had a uh, strong electrical storm where you've had lightning bolts and lightning strikes close and one day your garage door worked and the next day it didn't, it's a pretty good sign that Mother Nature uh, attacked your garage door opener through a power surge. First step is to determine that it is in fact a circuit board failure and if it is, they're not repairable and it's time to uh, replace the board. The replacement of the board is really a, a pretty simple uh, project. I've got some props here that'll uh, help us a little bit. This is what a circuit board looks like. This is the side that you would see from the outside. Notice there's a little wire sticking out of it. That wire is the antenna. So if you see the wire sticking out and you follow that wire back, it's gonna go to the circuit board. As you can see in the back, it's a printed circuit board, computer board. Some people call these PC boards, motherboards, circuit boards, control boards. By any name, they all do the same thing. Very often on this circuit board that you see here, this is a light socket. So you would you'd find a light bulb screwed into there. And you would also normally see a light cover over that. So if you're looking for the circuit board, Look first for light cover, remove the light cover, and the board will appear. Every board that the Chamberlain Liftmaster Company has made has a part number on it. And the part number is there, and so you want to record that number, write it down on a piece of paper, and then uh, proceed to a computer. Get on our website, which is NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Circuit boards from time to time get a change and the way you can tell whether you've got a changed circuit board is the last digit in the part number uh, we'll, we'll say has a suffix on it and that just means that that board has been improved or modified or something has been done that that makes it different. Here's another board a little, uh, little different uh, shape, different size and again it's a, it's a printed circuit board. This one again has a um, light fixture on it. One other thing I think we, we probably ought to talk about now is on the Sears Craftsman openers, some of the cases that, uh, that were used were different shape to make the operator a little bit more unique in its appearance. So the control board, as you can see, is fastened on the corners 
to a plastic frame. And it's not uncommon on a Sears Craftsman operator that the plastic frame will be different than the LiftMaster or Chamberlain or Raynor version of that. So if you, if you receive your board and the board looks the same, but the plastic surround looks different, it's probably because you've got one of those Sears Craftsman openers that's got the unique frame. All you have to do if that case occurs is remove the screws and take the old board out of the old frame, take the new board, new board out of the new frame and switch them. To find a replacement circuit board on our website has never been easier and there are a few ways you can search. In the search bar you can enter the model part number to directly find a part. The other method is you can search by operator model to find the correct circuit board. And lastly, you can find any part for your operator by looking at our exploded parts view feature. Just select the operator you own and then point the cursor to the part you need, which will pop up a link to the direct part. And as always, if you can't find something, please give us a call direct. Thank you for watching the NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com video. Now please hit that subscribe button so we can continue making videos like this. Thank you.